You know, it's getting kind of boring exploring caves. What do you mean? It used to be exciting. Danger around every corner. Look, danger! That was really rude. You should get to know a guy before he starts swinging around that thing. See? That's what I mean. We're untouchable. There's literally nothing that could defeat us. Well, there is something. I'm listening. In the depths of the world hitherto unexplored. There dwells an ancient evil. Why are you determined to get us killed? And why are you speaking like this? Stop interrupting! You guys never let me tell my creepy stories in peace! Sorry, sorry, go ahead. Some say that disturbing this beast means your life is now forfeit. They say that none who have faced it are still alive to tell the tale. Who's they? Right, right, continue. Well, that was it. But you didn't know that. One day I'll teach you guys a valuable lesson about interrupting me. Sure you will. And one day, Stan will actually start listening to what we say. What? Anyways, no way are we gonna seek out something so dangerous. Just because I want some excitement doesn't mean I'm suicidal. Unimaginable danger. I'm in. You weren't even paying attention. Well, now I am. And I want to go wherever it was that Porkchop was talking about. Looks like it's two to three, chick. We're going to the deep dark. Hooray for democracy. I was right. I definitely don't want to be here. Lighten up, chick. Some danger will be good for you. It gets the heart pumping and the blood flowing. I just wanted on the record that I said this was a bad idea. You say that about everything! Yeah, and I'm usually right. Oh wait, there is something else I forgot to mention. Please tell us. We're in enough danger as it is if you're right about this place. Well, it's that way. Relax. Everyone will be fine. <laughs> Oh my god, you've led us into a horror movie! What I was trying to say was that we need to be quiet in here! Ooh, chest. Hey, can you even imagine what kind of cool stuff is down here? Whatever it is, it's not worth it. We should leave. There's some magic sh going on here that I do not trust. Well, as long as we're quiet, we should be good. Outvoted again, chick. I hate you guys. You ready to see the good stuff? <laughs> That wasn't so bad. Now's when we run. Oh, hell no. It can smell us. What do we do? Split up. What? It can't chase all of us. We have to lure it in different directions to spread it thin trying to get us. Once we spread it out enough, we can get out. It's definitely moving too slow to catch us once we get to the exit. Come on, move. Over here! No! Over here, you big ol! Is it getting faster? Come and get me! What the hell? Just get out of here, man! Hey, you can talk? Yes, and I was in the middle of a fantastic thousand-year nap when you woke me. Hey, man, we didn't mean to wake you up. You can just go back to sleep. We were just leaving. But you make so much noise, and you smell... Ugh, so strongly. It'd be so much easier just to kill you than to deal with your racket getting out. Wait, is there something we can do to convince you not to do this? Nah, I'll just kill you. We're not gonna make it easy for you. Oh, wow, that was so cool! Well, thank you. No one ever compliments my killing. Do you want to stay down here with me and nap forever? Hmm. What? Obviously no. Why are you thinking about this? Oh, I wasn't. I was just stalling. I heard that. Well, uh, then no. I'll have to decline your offer. Hmm. Suit yourself. Well, at least we got cool loot. About that. Oh, come on. All right, gang, day three of no sleep. You know what that means. Dementia? Phantom hunting. We need phantom membranes for potions and elytra. You've never brewed a potion in your life. And you've never even seen Elytra. Look, come with me or don't. But the adventure must go on. Goodbye, Stan. You'll go on many trails. And you'll tell of many tales. Or at least that's what I'm gathering from the Trails and Tales update. All right. If I spend enough time out here, the phantom should eat me up like some hotcakes. Hmm. Maybe there are too many trees around. Ah! Ah! Jeez, that sounded like it struck right around here. Ah, good morning, my block buddies. 
Hey, where the f*** is Stan? Hmm, that's even stranger. I never cuss. Anyways, we should go find him. Eh, I'm sure he's fine. He probably just forgot the coordinates or something. Oh, hey Stan. Cometh. The mission must commence. Well, I think it's an upgrade. Huh. Demon Stan sure does like hitting and destroying trees. Must. Kill. Laying waste to our biome and ecosystem. I for one can get behind it. Um, Stan, that's rotten flesh actually. Well, he's gonna have a tummy ache. Wow, we have covered a lot of ground. And destroyed a lot of trees. He'll tire himself out eventually. In the meantime, let's just enjoy the show. Please get your friend to stop destroying all of our trees. We need that wood for tools to build weapons and houses. And ah! ah! All right, this has officially gotten out of hand. We need to put Demon Herobrine stand to rest. I don't think you can kill a Herobrine. Yeah. The nerds on Reddit say he doesn't even technically exist. Hey, Herobrine Stan! You know, we kinda need trees and wildlife to survive, dude! Um, I'm just gonna let him do his thing. Huh, strange. I don't remember us having a diamond sword. Or a demonic skeleton horse. Oh my god, he's killing the killagers! I mean... He's killing the villagers! On the bright side, all village to ourselves. Yeah, well, it's all fun and games until those villagers get here. Eh, your O'Brien will protect us. I'm taking a nap. Long day. Sir, perhaps you've heard the news. We were visited by a noble Steve last night. A Steve? Yes, you know, Steve. The one whom the world revolves around. Slayer of evil mobs and dragons. My god, and he's here with us now? He's inside this igloo house sleeping. Sleeping? Why, it's almost noon. <sighs> Morning, assholes. Hey, what's for breakfast? Well, we hadn't prepared anything. What about him? Uh, sir, that is my son. Look at the size of that head. That thing could feed a whole village. All right, onwards. So, we were wondering, since we have you here in our snow village, we've heard brave stories of you traversing the biome, fighting off mobs, we've watched on Twitch streams, and Dan TDM videos. Yeah, so what's your question? We need your help. Skeleton strays have been surrounding the village each night, preparing to strike. We believe that tonight, they're going to try and kill our village cartographer. I'm in the process of mapping out a new world for us. One that isn't cold and miserable and covered in snow. We ask your help in fighting off the strays. We know you have a deep history of combat. <laughs> Might as well start crafting shovels to dig your graves now. Where the hell have you guys been? We were trying to mine some ice blocks. No such luck. So please, sir, just even for one night, help us protect our village. What's in it for me, huh? We'll give you three carrots. We'll do it. All right, we need to keep our eyes peeled for these strays. Unfortunately, since we lost all our stuff, all I've got is this wooden sword. Seems like you've got this under control. I'm gonna go find an igloo with a single torch in it to stay warm. Hey, psst, friend, I want to thank you for being our defender, our chicken tender defender. Uh, sure, you're in, uh, good hands. I feel safer than ever with those brave adventurers. I don't know. The human is a complete jackass. I would honestly rather have just been killed by these strays than spend the whole day with him. That, uh, that must be our friends. Who is it? Oh, sh**. Do we have anything in here that will save us from strays? Yes, I have my maps. How the hell are maps gonna stop a zombie skeleton? Live by the map, die by the map. Oh, God. Damn you, strays! Oh god, the strays are here. Uh, here. He's dying. Maybe we can save the map? It's no use. It's covered in snow. Well, the good news is that these episodes always end in some sort of joke to lighten the mood. Ugh, did you really drag us out to the creeper woods in the middle of the night? We need to free the villagers being held captive. Plus, I wanted to show off my new threads. Jeez, look how many zombies there are. Wait, why does he get a helmet? Excuse me, coming through, pardon. 
Hey, there's one of the villagers. Let's free him. He's just sitting in that wooden box. Can he not just get out? They're heavily guarded. Look at all those skeletons. We're going to have to sneak up on him and- Hey guys, save me, please! Get them! Oh God, how are we gonna kill all those skeletons? Well, I don't know if you knew this, but you've had a huge block of TNT floating over your head for about 25 minutes. Thank you, brave heroes. Now, I will fight along your side with honor. Psych! Oh boy, emeralds! Ow! Did you just headbutt me? Yeah, dude. Helmet. All right, something tells me we're gonna have a long night in Creeper Crypt. Well, that lasted about five minutes. Can we just free the last few villagers and get out of here? Oh god, another skeleton! Your days of causing pain are over, skeleton. Ow, my face! Oh no! I'm in a sticky web of emotion! Spiders. Well, like all insects, they're actually helpful to our ecosystem. Let's let them live and move on. Wait, can't you free me? Sorry, you're not a villager. Hey, mobs, catch! Oh man, what a nice night. You know, I'm glad I came out for a walk in fresh air. This is a new beginning, Michael. All right, the last few villagers should be right up here. What the? Pork chop? Yep, I freed the villagers. I'm the hero now. Wait, what about that one? <sighs> oh yeah, I uh, didn't want to get near that one. The eye patch? I don't know. I thought maybe he'd try to touch me or something. Well, we're out of TNT. I don't think there's any way we're getting through there alive. Yeah, I'm just gonna drink this shadow potion. You guys have a good time, I'll see ya. Seriously? Screw that guy. Don't worry, my time with those spiders will finally pay off! Spider Pig! Ugh, is this really how we're ending the episode? Alright, stay on high alert. There's a lot of undead enemies wandering this temple. Oh, what do you know? There's one literally standing directly in our path. That's right, and you'll never destroy the enchanted staff of the Nameless One. Hey, uh, should this guy be giving away all this information? Nameless One? Yes, the powerful ruler of the Nameless Kingdom. Good luck getting to the secret tomb where he can be found. Okay, I'm just gonna go over here and pretend I'm not hearing this. Take me to your Nameless Ruler. Huh, didn't expect him to die, actually. Follow me, the tomb's gotta be this way. <laughs> Check it out, sliced ham. <laughs> Actually, these traps aren't so funny. Hey, let's all walk across this narrow bridge together. What could possibly go wrong? Prepare to die again, you undead, uh, dead people. Very creative. Ooh, check it out. Grim armor. Um, isn't that kind of disrespectful? You know, wearing a corpse like that? Oh, who am I gonna upset? A skeleton? Hey, that dude's wearing Kevin! That's my dead cousin, you mother Dude, Kevin is gone. Let him go. Alright, we made it to the tomb. Let's loot some ancient caskets. Uh, guys? He's sleeping. Should we wake him up? What are those other skeletons doing? Just watching him sleep? Creepy much? Prepare to die at the hands of the Nameless One. Ah, so you're the Nameless One. Let's name him Larry. What? No! Prepare for the most intense battle of your lives. Dude, it's dungeons. I'm gonna move to the left and shoot my arrows. He dropped his staff. Destroy it! All right, now to just escape the temple. Hey, those guys are trying to escape the temple. Get him! This one is for Kevin! Stan, pull out your totem of regeneration. We might need it. Aw, oh, man. Look how cute that thing is. Can I hold him? Of course. Hey, it worked. So, uh, we're really gonna enter this bastion, huh? Yep, this is a great place to trade. Yeah, and a great place to be killed. Just imagine how many piglins are inside that thing. That reminds me, you, wear this. And you, wear this. I'll put on my good old golden leggings. Now before we go in, just gonna check out some of this gold up here. We're gonna get murdered. Oh god, rhinos! Did somebody order bacon? I'm internally conflicted. All right, let's head inside and trade. 
That's right, right over here, come on. Did we get anything good? String? What the hell is this? Hey, hey, get the hell out of here. Don't be shy, my friend. Hop in that hole and trick. Ouch! That piglin hit me for no reason. Oh, God, the zombie pigmen is slaughtering the piglins! They died doing what they love, snorting loudly in a hole. Looks like we've got a potion and some pearls. Ooh, a delicious potion! Stand back. Since we're in the nether, we might as well look for a nether fortress. In fact, I think I see one over there. Did... did he just teleport? Ah! Oh god, lava! All right, my fire res. I can't believe that douche canoe just left us here. Well, now that all the piglins are dead, we've got all day to go through their chest. Ow! I thought you were all dead. Fine! Keep all your crappy bone blocks! I'm not hanging out in this death trap any longer. <laughs> Whoa! You've been chosen to be a zombie pigman jockey! Look at that cute little guy! Nope, sorry. This adventure's over. Alright, just gonna build up. Hey! What do you think you're doing breaching the fortress walls? Okay, as long as I land in the lava with my fire res, I'll be okay. No, oh, no! That man is about to land in lava and die! Strider to the rescue! We finally did it! A house we can stay in. 33rd time's the charm, huh? We're surrounded by water on three sides, a nether portal with a lava pit, and a small farm out front. Will you hurry up and get us out of here? He wants us to breed! I'm trying, Gerald! Can't you see that I'm trying? Um, maybe we should just let that cow free. Another cow is bound to wander over here someday. Now let's just enjoy that beautiful sunset. Now, time to continue the mission. Let me guess. You're armoring up to traverse the biome, throwing eggs at innocent sheep. You brave, brave warrior. I'm trying to make ender pearls, okay? Which means we need to stay up all night and hunt endermen. Now come on. Hey, at least it's a nice night. Of course. Okay, there's got to be an enderman around here somewhere. Let's split up. I'll check along the shore. Chick, you hit the forest on that hill, and Porkchop, you go search in those big shafts we dug out. Oh, right! I love big shafts! I bet you do. Okay, Enderman, let's make this easier on both of us. If you're out there, just stay hiding. I don't feel like gouging the eyeballs out of a hostile teleporting mob. In fact, I'm not even gonna look. Just gazing straight up into space. Can't find anything. Oh, f I'm gonna take this just in case. Whoa, okay. Kinda hard to see with this pumpkin on my head. One step, two step, three step, four. Hello? I'm looking for a Mr. Man. First name Ender? <coughs> I can't really see, but I'm sure there's none down here. It's gonna be tough getting back up. The rain made my feet all slippery. Oh God! <coughs> Oh man, this is taking longer than I thought. <sighs> Maybe I'll just sit down for a sec. Hey you, put that block down and get ready to die. Oh, uh, yeah, I love what you've done with the place. I just thought maybe this block would look better over there. Get back here. Aha, uh -huh, an ender pearl. You guys, we did it. Uh, that's great. Yeah, I killed like 12, but none of them dropped anything. All right, I saw Porkchop come down here with a jack-o'-lantern helmet. Um, dude? Oh, God. I'm sorry, man. Uh, hold on. Say hello to Porkchop 2.0. It's not the same. This pig doesn't- What's up, guys? Thanks for letting me out of that pen. Now we can go on infinite adventures. Yeah, okay, this'll do. Getting into the Halloween spirit? You know it. I love spooky season. I don't much like Halloween, but I do love potion making. And that's pretty Halloween-y. Does it really count if you do it all year long? Yes, and I'll be taking no more follow-up questions. Hey, you two, it's Halloween. A time to be frightened, not mad at friends. I'll be honest, Stan. I don't scare easily. Goose and ghouls are a little contrived. 
I'll show you guys just how spooky Halloween can be. Please don't. Hey, bud. I built this super scary haunted house. I'm gonna need some folks to play the monsters. Do you think anyone here would be interested? That literally sounds like a death trap. It's not a death trap. Not a real one, at least. It's a one-of-a-kind spooky season experience. Hmm. What's in it for us? The thrill of participating in a fun holiday activity. So you want free labor? No. Well, yes, but it's for the greater good. You'll leave with stories to tell for the rest of your life. Also, a ton of emeralds. You gorilla! It's your house! You can just open the door! My potions! Stanathon, what are you doing? Consider that a preliminary scare for what is about to come. Kicking in the door to your own home isn't really spooky. It's psychotic. That's not important. What's important is what I've made. It's spooky. Very spooky. Really went all out on the name, huh? Thank you. I think he was being sarcastic. Don't care. <sighs> I assume you want us to go through this fire hazard? Yes. Stan, can we go now? I don't know how many more scares I can take. We're only halfway up the tower, and besides, I haven't gotten Chick to crack just yet. Uh, I told you, Stan. I'm not easily scared. You did scream like a child when that supercharged creeper showed up a couple months ago. An exception to the rule. Huh. Weird. This floor isn't supposed to have zombies on it. Hey, guys! Zombies are on the next floor! Help! Help! There's a zombie! Yes, yes, great performance, but the zombies are supposed to be two floors above. Really? You could win an Oscar with a performance like this. Stan, I don't think this is an act. It's pretty dark in here. I think that's a real zombie. Zombies can't spawn inside of houses you build. Of course they can. That's like Zombies 101. Oh, shit. Great. Now we get to burn alive. If it makes you feel any better, Stan, I actually am afraid now. I'll be honest, it doesn't. Why didn't you just let me work on my potions? Another portal! Stan! Are all of the surprises tonight designed to kill us? I thought it would be funny to open a portal to the nether. I didn't actually plan on putting any of us in it. I really don't understand your sense of humor, Stan. I'm a very complex man. Well, gang, spooky season might be coming to an end. Wait! I have an idea! I'm not drinking poison pork top. That's way too dark, even for me. No, Chick! It's a potion of Featherfall! Quick! Wow, Porkchop, you had those the whole time? Yeah, I was working on them before you rudely kicked in the door, if you remember. Luckily, I picked them up. Well, Stan, I'm starting to come around on Halloween. This has given me more of an existential kind of fear, but I'm just happy to see you get into the spirit. The game will begin shortly. As a reminder, anyone who does not complete the game will be eliminated. That's not happening, guys. We got this. What game do you think we're playing on this giant playground? Giant playground? I thought this was a giant litter box. Giant litter box for giant cats. I guess anywhere with sand could be a litter box. Cats? No, I thought it was a litter box for human giants. Why wouldn't human giants just use a toilet? Have you ever seen a giant toilet? I haven't. Okay, but have you ever seen a giant? Fair point. I guess on that note, I've never really seen a litter box with a slider swings in it either. And you haven't been to Adopt Me Pet Park lately. Mommy, can we go to the park? I want to go on the swings. No, baby. That park is a toilet for cats. Hmm. Looks like some sort of craft project, but it smells like... Candy! Dex, no! War! Spit it out! Drop it. Mm -mm. Dex, Dex, drop it. it. You really need to listen to the game rules. It's life or death. Is it life or death, though? Night. Does anyone have a snack? <laughs> B! Get it off of me! Night. Fatality. Normally, I would never say this about a child. Is she a child? Either way, I hope she short circuits. Okay, so it's not life or death, but please don't get us eliminated. Respawning stinks. Maybe for you. 
For me, it means a trip to the bathroom and a snack. That makes you sound like you eat snacks in the bathroom. Interesting. I think we missed the instructions. Now I'll repeat the instructions. You've all been given a piece of honeycomb and a needle. You need to punch out. Let her finish the instructions. The pattern without breaking the honeycomb before the time runs out. Do people really have a hard time with this? How'd you do that so fast? I ate around the pattern. I'm a very meticulous eater. No! Oh, I can fix it! <laughs> Done. Okay, Dax, we'll help you with yours. Where is yours? Where is what? Your honeycomb, is it still in the tin? Oh, I ate it. All of it? Yeah, I saw Oakley eating his, so I ate mine. Was that wrong? I only ate the outside of mine. I only ate the outside of mine, too. If you think about it, you're always only eating the outside of a circular food. Only a serial killer would eat it from the inside out. Claire, what are we gonna do? Dax doesn't have a honeycomb. Where's Claire? Claire? I'm here. How'd you get a guard's uniform? You just found three guards hogtied like that? Lucky. They weren't hogtied when I found them, Dax. Oh! Did you get a good look at who did it? I don't want to get hogtied. Dax, it was me. Now put this on. I've got a plan. We gotta go to the bathroom. You know the protocol. Hold it until the game is finished. It's not the kind you hold. What does that mean? It means we gotta go number three. What's number three? <laughs> Something's not right. Yeah, my stomach's not right, dude. Hang on. Go ahead. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. How did three players go missing? I think I know where they are. We got three players missing, and I think I saw them under the slide. What's the next part of the plan? We're looking for the office. It's got to be behind one of these doors. And when we get to the office, then what? Nice snack choice! We're gonna steal you a piece of honeycomb, go back to the playground, and finish the game. We are not getting eliminated. We don't need to do this. You can just respawn and play again. <gasps> don't act so surprised. He said it himself. He likes respawning. He gets bathroom snacks. No, it's the trench. Where? Where? Behind this door. Do you think they saw you? What are you doing here? Um, um we're... we're uh, 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 you should be looking for the three escapees. <laughs> Locked it. How will we get in? This. Almost. Almost. Here, let me try. Nope. It's still locked. I have an idea. Oh, no, no, the beast! The beast! How are we going to fix that? We're not. But won't they know we were here? They already know. Sorry we got eliminated, Claire. Ah, that respawn wasn't too bad. Where's Dax? Probably finishing his bathroom snacks. He'll be here any minute. But it's starting! Aw, oh, man! Aw, oh, man! Looks like only two of us are moving on to the final round. But I don't want any of us to get eliminated from the island. Yeah, we came here together. We should leave together. As friends. No matter what happens, we'll always be friends. So it's unanimous? We all leave together? Absolutely not! Jeff, let's read the votes. It is time to find out who is leaving the island immediately and who is continuing on to the finale right here on Outlaster. Finale? Is this being televised? Hang on. Claire, you just said, and I quote, no matter what happens, we'll always be friends. And we will always be friends. But one of us will also be a winner. Three friends take away one winner. That means two of us will be the losers. That's right. Jeff, the vote. You have all voted for the person you think should leave the island. The first vote is for... Dax. Me? I'm shocked! Really? After everything that happened? Mm, monkey. What? What? Did you eat all those raw fish? Yes? He's lying, it was worse. What? 
I'm fairly certain that will have offended several groups of viewers. So it is being televised. Where are the cameras? What was the most offensive part? That he wasted our food or he did a traditional hula wearing a skirt of dead fish? Yes. Can we move on with the elimination ceremony now? The second vote is for... Claire. Hey, I get it. No one wants to vote for themselves. That's one vote for Dax, one for Claire. This last vote could determine who leaves the island tonight. And what if it's a three-way tie? Yeah, if it's a tie, is there some sort of face-off? Um, I was just getting to that. Can I do my job? I was literally just saying... This last vote could determine who leaves the island tonight, unless it's a tie. In which case, we will enter a face-off challenge. I mean, I just can't with this gig sometimes. Where does casting find these people? So, is it a tie? <sighs> Jeff, you are too talented for hosting. When you get home tonight, you're calling your agent and asking, nay, demanding, a meeting with Spielberg. And if she can't make that happen, a meeting with HBO. And if she can't make that happen, she'd better get your buns over to Lifetime. You are a Juilliard trained actor who deserves better. <coughs> This is the final vote, and the person leaving the island tonight is... Ow! Something just flew into my eyes! Probably the same thing that just flew into my mouth. Claire's fingernails. Oh, is there a problem? No. What does the paper say? There is a problem. Dax got something in his eye. I'm fine. There's, uh, there's only a little blood. <sighs> Medic. Medic? It's just a bloody eye. A bloody eye sounds normal to you? It would sound normal to me if I was in a British ophthalmologist's office. Doc, just tell me what's wrong with my bloody eye. <laughs> The person going home tonight is... Who's leaving? Can I do my job? I said, can I do my job? You know what? I'm leaving. Mm. Gary, I know you're watching in the booth. Everyone is stepping all over my performance. I was building suspense. I was building drama. That's what gets the ratings. These people trying to do my job. Ridiculous. Janice, it's Jeff. <laughs> wow, news travels fast. But no, I didn't throw a fit on set of Outlaster. They were squashing my drama! Well, you believe what you want to believe, Janice, but I am an actor! What do the rules say about the host rage quitting after eating the results? Were the rules printed on paper? Did he eat those too? Maybe we all win? No, this is Outlaster, not Outlasters. There's always one winner, two losers. Dex already did the math. Okay, so tell me, in the event of a three-way tie slash rage quitting, the contestants face sudden death. Who said that? It's Bill. <laughs> hey, Bill! Sorry again about that thing. Oh, come on. Yes! I finally have fire! After days, I have fire! Fire, fire, fire! You're welcome. In the event of a three-way tie slash rage quitting, the contestants will face sudden death. So, some sort of obstacle course, or...? Sudden death. <sighs> hey. Sorry I'm late. IS THAT THE GRIM REAPER?! The brush on this island is thick. Did someone call me? Hang on, there must be a mistake. I don't wanna die! In the event of a three-way tie, aha. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, you missed the asterisk. Down here at the bottom, Outlaster rules define sudden death as a vote by a jury of their peers to determine the winner. So, we're not gonna die. No, unless something goes horribly wrong, which it could. But then again, it's your time to go, isn't it? You know what? Just be careful. I'll catch y'all later. Some of y'all sooner than others. Bye! Great! So let's pick a winner. Ideally someone who really kicked butt. Also, my name is spelled C-L. We're not voting for you, Claire. Not in a million years. I deserve to win. I was the best. Found one. Meet you at the ship. Ah! A little help? 
Oh. Yoink. Oh. Claire? Are you coming back? Hello? So what? You're gonna vote for Dax? We already saw how he played the game. What about me? <laughs> What's so funny? I think I'm gonna sit this one out. You know what? I'm good. I have had it with these monkey fighting snakes on this Monday to Friday play! Hopefully you okay? Yep. <laughs> I can still feel those snakes on my neck. Snake! On your neck! Where? On your neck! Get it off! Nope. Hold still. Ow! You've trapped it on his head! No! Get it off! Fire! 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 Should we put this one out or. Dead snake! Dead snake! Wait. Is that part of a microphone? Aw, oh, dang, is it? I can't see very well with this eye patch. Turns out I'm contractually obligated to be here and read these results, or else give back my paycheck to the studio. Friends no matter what. Friends, Friends no, no matter, matter what. what. The studio would also like me to mention that Bill is doing fine, but also he signed a release of liability when he joined Outlaster, and the studio is not responsible for his hospital burns. I mean, uh, hospital bills. But we are sending our best to him and wishing him a speedy recovery. Dang it. Tally the votes. The contestant who has outlasted all others who will win one million dollars in the title of Outlaster Season 666 is... Bill. Oh, Bill is the winner, and I'm sure that money's going to come in handy. Turns out Bill didn't have health insurance. Well, that's it for this season of Outlaster. Wait. I did it, Janice. Are you happy? You left me no choice. I already spent the advance on a top-of-the-line gaming chair. For my Twitch streams, Janice. Wow, I did not see that ending coming. Dax, we were there. All right. Man, a million dollars would have been nice. What do you think Bill is going to do with that money? I don't care what it costs. I want their houses filled with snow. I hate this. Yeah, why'd we all have to squeeze into one car? I am not gonna ride alone. Too scary. Ow, what are you? Ow, my ribs. No, my chili dog. You couldn't wait until the ride's over to eat that. I find snacks taste way better when there's an element of danger. You'll be in plenty of danger if you get any of that on my new shoes. Hey, what is this? Dax, meet danger. Who spilled their chili dog on me? I think it was a bird, big sir. <laughs> believe you just threw a chili dog. What if you hit someone bigger and scarier? They'd Not probably possible. corroborate my bird story. Hey, did you guys see anyone on the Ferris wheel eating a chili dog? Why do you ask, my good pig man? Name's Piggy. And when I find out who it was, I'm gonna destroy them. That sounds painful. You bet. So, did you see anything or not? As a matter of fact, I think I saw something. A person? What do they look like? Hmm. Yellow, oafy, very dumb. Hey! Kind of like him. Claire, I don't think this is a good idea. This guy? Yeah, dead ringer for this guy. If this guy was a bird. Let me get this straight. So I'm supposed to believe that a big, yellow, very dumb looks exactly like this guy but a bird. Hey, again! Flew over my head while eating a chili dog and spilled it on me. Yes? Come with me. Well, we were hoping to see the acrobat. Come with me. You said yellow and stupid? No, yellow and dumb. And like a bird, right? That's him, all right. Mm. We'll have a better chance finding this monster if we split up. Meet back at the Circus 1020. I hope we find him. Find him? It's you. You're him. Oh, yeah. That's not good. What were you thinking? That it'd be funny? Looking back, it was probably a bad idea. Heh. <laughs> that guy's gonna pulverize Dax. We gotta get him out of here. Wasn't he just standing right there? Dax? Dax? Where'd he go? So I threw the chili dog over my shoulder, and he's out there looking for a bird. 
What a dumb dumb. Dex, we're leaving. Are you telling people you were the one who dripped chili on that giant scary pig man? I told you. Danger equals tastier snacks. You want danger? Pop a laxative before the drive home and see if you cannot poop your pants. Ooh, I love a good game of rush hour poulette. He just bought snacks? Which way'd he go? I said, which way did he go? Look, guy, I just work here. Hey! I am so sorry, but that piggy is going to violently murder you. Isn't murder inherently violent? Touche. Must have danger treats. Dex, no! Ah! It's okay, it was the chili dog. What? Whew. I think we lost him. Ooh. That was close. Seriously? Worth it! And now, distinguished guest of the circus, prepare to be razzled, to be dazzled, to be bedazzled? Where'd we come in? How do we get out? I wish I had another chili dog! Folks, please welcome to the stage, the Van Flanden Triplets! <laughs> the Van Flanden Triplets! I think there's been a mistake. All right, we're you guys doing the show or what? The Van Flanden Triplets! <laughs> crap, crap, crap. You're okay, buddy. Nope, I can't do this. I'm turning around. Crap, crap, crap. You're fine. Just don't look down. Yeah, looking down is the worst thing you can do. Help, I looked down. But you said not to. Sorry, I'm stressed out. I wasn't listening. Here, grab on. Where'd you get that? I already made it to the other side and back. I am surprisingly good at this. Sorry about the mix-up. All good. Now, if you'll excuse us, we're in the middle of a show. Wait, how'd we do? Is that a serious question? No. Looks like the coast is clear. And that, folks, concludes our show. Dax, hurry up! You almost had me. Must have thought I was pretty stupid, huh? It was an accident! I swear! Dax, get out of there! You're in danger, dude. Mmm, danger! Oh, that can't be good. Maybe Piggy wasn't mad at the chili, per se, but at the hot dog. What does the guy have against hot dogs? I'm gonna tell him. Don't you dare. Hey! Apologize. Did you say something? I said I want to say something, but I'm only going to say it once. What? I said I'm only going to say this once, so clean out your ears! Okay, what I wanted to say is that... Hang on! Done! I'm sorry I got you into trouble. That's it? What? You want me to sing it out or something? I said I'm sorry. Now, can we please move on? Did any of you throw a chili dog off of the Ferris wheel earlier tonight? Are they still behind us? I can't see anything! Go faster! I can't! Uh-oh. Why, uh-oh, Claire? We're out of gas. It's fine. I think we lost... We're completely surrounded. We gotta make a run for it! And get murdered? Hell no! I live here now! I have water and jerky and a blanket and a toilet bucket! Stop trying to make the toilet bucket a thing, Dax! First I can't have a toilet hat, and now I can't have a toilet bucket?! You know why you can't have a toilet hat! Ugh, fine! But for reals, I'm sorry I ruined your hat, Claire. Can we focus on getting out of here? I really don't think we should. The car feels like the safest I Let's go! In here. I know the car wasn't safe, but a crime scene. What if there's a killer in there? There are killers out here. We need something to barricade the door. Oh. Really? That's it? I always thought it'd be bigger. Oh, I know. Is that the kid from Home Alone? How is that art? I don't know, but will it work? Still too small. Hang on. This, this will, will work. work. <laughs> uh, my back. What happened? I was moving around big pieces of art. That's what happened. Gotta find a way out of here. I can't stand up. We can all crawl. It'll be a challenge. A crawling challenge. Good idea. We won't leave anyone behind. Let's go. 
Now, where are those blocks, buddies? Anyone else's knees hurt? Nope, just my back. Guys, hammer. Put that back, Claire. What if that's the crime scene weapon? Or one of those modern art exhibits. A hammer on a bench. Exactly. Where are you little rascals at, huh? Fathers aren't going to hurt you. I don't think that's exactly what he's going to do. In here. The scene of the crime. Hmm. I'm starting to think the caution tape out front is for construction. That would explain the lack of blood. Also, there's no murder smell. Guys, we can use this stuff to fight Father Piggy. Everyone grab something. getting ready for battle. And I thought we were supposed to be crouching. Father Piggy is coming. Quick, where's the hammer? I have it. <laughs> you can't run, but you can't hide. I mean, I guess you could hide, but you'll have to come out at some point, unless you just live in there now. But there's no post office the air docks, so how would you get it, man? He's really concerned about the logistics of living in an air duct. Wait, we live here now? Oh, at least the car had windows. Ah, the murderer! Don't kill me! Guys, we already established there was no murder here. Yet! It's true, which is exactly why we need to get out of these ducts and out of this gallery. This might help. It's a map of the ducts. They had a map and still died? We're done for. These maps are correct. This should be the... Ooh. <sighs> Room with the painting. Is there an exit on that map? Yeah, there's a back door. It should be through this way. What? It's locked! It can't be! Is this not the crouching challenge? Sorry. There you are. <sighs> Come to daddy so we can murder you. No, no thank, thank you. you. We gotta find the key to that door. Maybe I can just shoot it down. With a nail gun? It's locked! Come out, come out, wherever you are. What are we gonna do? Dax, you're back. Must be all the adrenaline. I don't feel a thing. Quick, use anything you have to try to break this door down. You had a key? I just found it. You are under arrest. Officers, this is a big mistake. You destroyed a priceless piece of art. A silent alarm went off the moment you touched it. Oh no, the Mona Lisa. The Mona what? No, it was hammer on a bench. I told you. Officer, there seems to be a mix up. We were actually chased into this gallery by a murderous pig. Oh, well, I'm sure we'll be able to clear this up at the station. Anyone else curious why only one of the piggies chased us into the gallery? There were five surrounding the car. Maybe they got distracted? Caretakers. Hmm. Ring bell for service. Oh, ring the bell. Claire, Oakley, and Dax, I presume. And you must be. You don't have to wear the uniform, but you will need to know the keys. The first one's for the front door, side door, other side door, kitchen, dining room, room closet, coat closet, stair closet, tidy and closet, and room 237. I call room 237. No. That room is off limits. There's something not right about that room. Stay out of 237, you hear me? That's the exact opposite of what I want to do. I said don't go in room 237. I've seen in that room will haunt your dreams. Is it full of laughing children? Why would the hotel keep a room full of laughing children? I don't know, but that's what haunts my dreams. A classroom full of children pointing and laughing at me. In this dream, did you forget to put on pants? How'd you know? So don't go in room 237. Got it. Anything else we should know? 
man, I'm gonna whip you home. He couldn't get out of here fast enough. Should we be worried? Worried about what? We're the only ones at this resort. We're, We're the, the only, only ones at this resort. resort. We're the, the only, only ones at this resort. resort. said they were iconic. Guys, I can play keyboard, but you're already on lead guitar. Wait, idea time. What about a keytar? Genius. It's 80s and I love it. This is actually perfect. Now we can stay the Fab Four. Aren't the Beatles the Fab Four? No, we are. Hello? Hello? Do you need help? Why are you crying like that? What are you doing in room 237? What are you doing in room 237? You're not supposed to be in here. Neither are you. I saw the door open. Jinx. Jinx again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You've been death, Jinx. You'll die if you talk again. We shouldn't be death jinxing each other in this hotel. Especially in this room. I heard a crying demon. Sorry about that. That was you? Yeah, I found this dress and was overcome with emotion. It's so iconic. I don't know. It doesn't seem kind of basic. Oakley! Help! Danger! What's wrong, buddy? Did you see something? Bear! Robot! Gang! A gang of robot bears? Are you okay, Dax? Uh, fox! Buddy! Chicken! Whale! Beaver! Uh, armadillo! Oh! Animals! Basic! This dress is not basic! <laughs> Dax! Ah, this room gives me the creeps. I, I don't think he's in here. When he's scared, he comes in here and folds the napkins. Wow, he's really good at that. Now that you mention it, I sort of have the feeling someone's watching us. I'm going to eat you and your friend Stax. <laughs> <laughs> Dax? Dax, are you awake? What's going on? Where am I? You're in the kitchen in a pile of unfolded napkins. You were just having a nightmare. You're not gonna believe this. I dreamt we became the caretakers of some huge empty resort. And at first it was kind of fun. But then uh, we all started losing our minds. Claire, you started talking to your finger. And Oakley, you worked in a salon that your only friends were mannequin heads. And the animatronics came to life and they wanted to eat me. <laughs> oh, Dax, you're so silly. We are the ones who want to eat you. I'm going to eat your face and poop it out. Poop face. I think he's awake. What? Dax is awake. Is Dax awake? That's what I just said. Copy that. Tell me right now. Do you want to eat me? Eat you. Is this one of those deserted island hypotheticals? Would you be cooked or raw? Would we have to eat your face? Just answer the question. Gross, Gross no. no. I had a nightmare that we were caretakers of an empty resort. And at first it was kind of fun, but then... We all lost our minds? Yeah, that happened. What about the animatronics that came to life and tried to murder me? Still 
not alive. I mean, they're still creeping people out, but in a normal way, not a come to life and murder you way. That's good, I guess. You know what? I think it's time we leave. I miss other people. Not to mention we're out of clean dishes. Well, couldn't we just clean I the- I said we're out of clean dishes. There's no going back. What's so scary in room 237? The toilet was clogged. Looked like it had been like that for a while. People don't eat nearly enough fiber these days, but there's also a such thing as too much fiber. Who's going to watch the hotel? Who cares? They weren't even paying us. Not true. I got paid in hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Oakley? Claire? I brought burgers! But I, I don't have fries. They were out. They said they'd be here. Ah, oh, I know how to get in. Aha! Uh -huh. What the heck? Surprise! Uh, you broke my window! Why didn't you use the key under the rock? Oh, so I should use every key I find? I find a lot of keys. A key! A key! A key! Does that sign say that we're going to Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex? Yep, we're going tonight. Happy birthday, sort of. But it's not a leap year, is it? It's not, but if it was, we'd be celebrating your birthday around now. Well then, less talking, more pizza plexing. Best night of my life! What? What'd you say? You think this is awesome, Dax? Wait until it's time for cake. Did you say snake? Where? Freddy Fazbear's on fire! Claire's on fire? Stop, drop, and roll, Claire! Stop, drop, and roll! Heaven! Not Claire! Bear! Bear! Freddy! And that's our show! Please stop by our gift shop on the way to the exit and drive safe! But we paid for the Glam Freddy Mega Deluxe Party Package! Yeah, Freddy hasn't sung happy birthday to our friend yet! He was gonna sing to me?! I said show's over! Now get out! Scram! Yeah! This isn't the exit! We're not leaving until we hear Freddy and the band sing happy birthday to Dax! And eat cake? And maybe eat cake! Why don't we just ask for a refund? Does that security guard seem like she'll refund us? No, but I just feel like we shouldn't be here. Here is in this game. It's the wrong game, and it's scary. Quick, in here! Oh, this job stinks. Now I gotta worry about a creepy, maybe come to life animated bear with the melted face of a demon? You shall not speak ill of Freddy! Shh. Hello? I need a raise. Did she just say maybe come to life, animated bear? Don't be silly. Freddy's an animatronic. An animatronic with, and I quote, the melted face of a demon. Demon? It's just some exposed wiring, burnt hair, and melted plastic. I've seen worse. Heck, I've eaten way worse. We've got to get to the control booth up there. Maybe they can help. Hey, robot man person. No! Aren't helpful robots, Dax? Well, why not? Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. One of these has to be the birthday song. We're three stories up, and it still feels too close for comfort. Oh, I think this is it. Turn it down. The security guard will hear. I don't see a volume button. We gotta get out of here. Nope. This song is played like 12 times. 13. I never want to hear this song again. What I want to hear is happy birthday. You've got to get past these staff bots. Does that mean we have to keep wearing these trash jackets? These are recycling bins. Sorry, I don't know everything about fashion. Wait, it's not safe yet. I think we're clear. Oakley, you ruined Freddy! How's he gonna sing to Dax now? Next time, try using your head instead of your brute strength. That's what my mom always tells me.
weren't on the Titanic. And we're in the wrong game. Let me have my flashback. Guys, where'd the bird go? That's it, I'm out of here. You're not leaving until- Until what, we're dead? Yeah, I don't think I want to be murdered by a chicken on my sort of birthday. Run. Can robots slide under doors? Nope. Who wants candy? <laughs> she really wants to get in here. That is a strong chicken. Quick, in here! We're not all gonna hide in a toilet stall. Not the same one. Everyone hide in their own toilet stall and make it look like you're pooping. I guess that's not a bad idea. I've never heard of anyone being killed on a toilet. Have you ever seen Jurassic Park? <laughs> Quick, in here! Happy birthday, dear Dax! Happy birthday to you! Did you make a wish? Yeah, and it already came true! I wish not to die tonight at the Pizza Plex! Hi? We were fine! One of the robots went a little haywire. It happens! Claire, that chicken came to life, chased us, found us in the trash, and then ate the trash! Robots don't eat, which means they don't eat trash! Then I guess I didn't see the robot chicken eat the retainer that someone accidentally threw away in the napkin. It's too bad we never got that refund. I wonder what happened to the security guard. Vanessa, can I get an awa awa? Ready loves to yeah. with a love is friends. Not after, after night, the fun never ends. But Lily, he's feeling like the plex is a cage. Cause the audience is bigger when the world's your stage. So jump in the van and fuck a lot. Show Pizza Plex. Good night. An emergency band meeting in five. Uh, did you hear me, Roxy? Five minutes. Roxy. Yo, Fazbear. We should knock first. What if he's in his underwear? He called the emergency meeting, and he doesn't wear underwear. Ew. Ew. Freddy. Great show tonight. Freddy. He's dead. Who's dead? Oh my gosh! That's like the twelfth time I thought you were this teddy, Freddy! At least it wasn't a poster this time. So that's how you spell gnarly. Oh! Hey, Freddy! Hiya, Freddy! Looking snazzy, Fuzzy! In my defense, they're all very lifelike! Y'all take a seat! I have big news! Hey, get your own seat. Anywhere is fine, Monty. Hmm. One sec. I got it. Seriously? I'm seated. Great. Time for the big news. I got us a gig. Oh, no. Have you been glitch trapped? Your name is Freddy. This is your Pizza Plex. You are the lead singer of a band. I mean a gig on the outside. Oh, Do really? we get a cut? Uh, I mean, when? when? Tonight, downtown. Unpaid, but we get free buffalo wings. Sure, why not? Free wings? Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm sorry, Chica. I didn't think awesome. that- Awesome. Roxy, what do you think? Vanny's not gonna let us go. She's not gonna know about it. But she has all those staff bots patrolling the plex. I have an idea. Freaks! Map. Hey, it's us. Oh, dude, sorry about that. I'm trying to get Staff Bot of the Month, so I've been really focused. Toodles! A map isn't a bad idea. Yeah, do we know where we're going? Do we know how we're going? Ta-da! Oh. Can we paint flames on the side? Oh, that's flying around in flames! 
burning bats. You want our touring van to have a cauldron of bats and excruciating pain on the side of it? I'm very into that. Okay, well let's get our stuff loaded and hit the road before Vanny finds us. Hi, Hi Vanny. Vanny. Where are you going? Nowhere. We're going for a joy ride. Yeah, gonna knock over some mailboxes, stick our butts out the window, regular joy ride stuff. Can I come? No! no. It's just that I don't want you seeing my butt. I can see your butt right now. That's it. Starting Monday, I'm wearing pants. Whatever, I don't care. Look, I want to join the band. Why? Because I want to be famous and live a rock and roll lifestyle, and I don't want to work security. What instrument would you play? Drums. We don't need a drummer, uh-huh. Actually, yeah, we don't have a drummer. How'd that happen? This is a big day. The instrument you pick will be the instrument you play forever. I call guitar. I call bass. I, I want to sing. sing. No, no, I want to sing. sing. No, no, I do. I, I have, have a better voice. voice. No, no, I, I do. do. Fine, I'll play. Oh no, the glitch trap got Roxy. You don't play tuba, you play guitar. I know I play guitar because I wanted it more. This flashback is really cute and all, but am I in the band or not? Not. They're gonna pay. When we get to the gig, let me do the talking. What? It'll seem more professional, and I want to make sure they got everything on a writer. What's a writer? It's that ridiculous list of requests we sent over before we left. It wasn't ridiculous. Tell them we want hot water and lemon. And a bowl of m and But only the green ones, because green is the best color. I'm not asking them to separate the m and Tell them. Tell them we only want the green ones. Tell them if I see a single red m and in the bowl, I'll... Feel what? You killed him, Rox. No, I didn't. Killed him dead. Just had to put that ugly m and in his face. He's not dead. But his battery is. Are we gonna die now too? No, that's why we all charged our batteries. You charged your batteries, right? Do you see any batteries? No, no batteries. Nothing back here but our instruments and some gross old pizza crusts. <laughs> we should probably just head back. You're right. I'll call the gig and tell them we had trouble with the... Vanny. What happened here? You probably sabotaged us? I did, but I'm not responsible for this. Hi, O'Doyle's Pub and Grill. Did you book a glam rock Freddy and Friends for a gig tonight? You did? Well, bad news, they all have diarrhea. We don't have bowels. He didn't ask for specifics. We're not gonna make the gig anyway. Monty ran out of juice. That's an easy fix. They should be here somewhere. Ew, old pizza. It's me. Aha, clear. Did it work? No. no. I've been told this is a way to reboot a bot. Maybe it has to touch his body. Clear? We're not the stereotypical band. We don't fuse. Sorry, Freddy. Yeah, we're better than that. Vanny, when did you join the band? She did it. Bye, Vanny. But we'll I... see you later. I'm gonna be in this band. Just you wait and see. No more drama. You're right. Sounds good. Now, everybody get a good night's charge. I booked us a birthday party tomorrow in town. You think this was my fault? I blame Freddy and these stupid wigs. Stupid wigs? The lady that sold me these said they were cool. They're certainly something, buddy. I couldn't see anything on stage. 
Ow! Stupid big dumb things! Are you sure your wig isn't on backwards? Hmm, backwards, you say. Interesting. I guess we'll never know. Hello? Is, Is someone, someone there? there? I'm not afraid to use my face as a weapon. And we never wear our wigs backwards. <sighs> I was scared for a second. Yeah, I really thought someone was trying to... Buddy, what are you doing here? Yeah, long time, no see. Well, they did decommission my eyes. So, to be fair, I wasn't seeing much of anything. They decommissioned your eyes? Not just my eyes. They decommissioned my everything. Who are you? Oh, Bonnie, this is Roxy. Bonnie used to play bass in the band until he was, um... You know. You can say it until I was decommissioned, which is when this guy joined the band. But why were you decommissioned? There was an accident. Or so I've heard. I don't know. I wasn't there. Yeah, me either. We have no idea what happened. We need to get back before Vanny locks us out. So we should probably leave now. Right now. Good to see you, Bonnie. Bye. Don't be a stranger. Don't be a stranger. Oh, I won't. Bonnie doesn't know, right? Know what? Monty had him decommissioned. Right. Bonnie! Well, you did. We made a pact not to talk about it. You're out, Bonnie. This was a setup. Where's Monty? Monty! You harmed a child. You're out. I didn't know that kid was lactose intolerant. I never would have given him the ice cream. All right, fellas. Take him to the basement. When you're done, mop the floor where the kid was sitting. He knows. Really? Yeah. You all did him dirty. You think he's out for revenge? Absolutely. Uh, wait, really? I mean, duh. He followed us home. He knows where we live. Doesn't he live here too? Everybody calm down. The only thing I don't get is if he was decommissioned. How was he, he recommissioned? How was he recommissioned? Damn it, Greg. We're friends. Don't scare us like that. Yeah, man. We thought you were Bonnie. Nah, dude. It's me, Greg. Do you know how Bonnie was recommissioned? Sure I do. Well, see you later. <sighs> Fine. It was Bonnie. He recommissioned himself? How does that work? Hi, Chica. <coughs> does it matter who recommissioned me? Someone set me up. And I want answers. Wait, 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 wait. Hey! Wait, wait, wait. It was an accident. Sorta. Of. Oh, stop eating that ice cream, Jimmy. The rabbit gave you the wrong eye. I knew you were jealous of my bass slapping. You made me give that kid Terry Rhea. I didn't plan to, but I also didn't say anything when I realized the issue. Sounds like someone set you both up. Who do you think set them up? Vanny! Really? You think Vanny did it? Do we think she's that smart? She's behind me, isn't she? Ah! My plan was genius. I've been in the biz 20 years, and I've never seen a kid lose it like that. Everything inside was outside. Uh, gross. So Vanny set us up. Case closed, I guess. But why? Why give poor little Jimmy the barf squirts? I was hoping both Bonnie and Monty would get decommissioned for giving Jimmy bubble gut. But the plan went sideways when I didn't get caught in the scandal, so Vanny recommissioned Bonnie to fight Monty in hopes they destroy each other. Which would leave an opening in the band for me. Vanny. Vanny the bass player. You play bass? No, but it can't be that hard. Bonnie, stop right there. Uh oh. Uh, 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 uh. Huh? Sorry, dude. Son of a... Monty! Monty? What? I'm the bass player now, not Bonnie. That was impressive. Very ruthless. Very rock. You can't join the band, Vanny. Dang it! 
The idea is, you set the spike trap, then use a harpoon gun to pull them into the trap you set. Too bad they vaulted the spike trap. That also sounds much more complicated than just shooting them in the head. Yeah, you trying to collect clips for a TikTok? No. Well, yes, but more importantly, I think if we aren't going to win a battle royale, we might as well do something cool. Camp Cuddle, this isn't Scream Cool TikTok clips. Right, because I ignored that idea and thought we might have more fun at a summer camp. Ooh, a friend! Welcome. Always great to see a new group at the camp. I'm Cuddle Team Leader. Y'all can call me Cuddly. Pleasure to meet you. Likewise. Is your friend okay? Yeah, Tanner, are you okay? Yeah, I, I'm fine, but maybe we should go somewhere else. It's Camp Cuddle. Listen up. Ah! Well, that's the overreaction of the century. You got that right. Where should we go first? Might I recommend the lake? Sorry about that earlier. <laughs> you really lost it. Afraid of the color pink? <laughs> or maybe just fuzzy animals? No, no, there was just this horrible fairy tale my mother would tell me about this creature. Curdle Scream Leader. Half pink bear, half tomato head, 100% nightmare fuel. Seeing Cuddly made the story come to life and I freaked out. So you were reminded of a scary story for kids? Well, when you put it like that, I sound like a baby. Sorry, what matters is Cuddly isn't Curdle. She's a camp counselor. <laughs> You're right, I'm overreacting. I think I'll take a walk around the island and chill out. I think we're experiencing a full-blown trauma response. Yeah, parents really mess up their kids in the most innocuous ways. Yeah. Well, I'm going for a swim. Get it together, Tanner. Curdle isn't real, and Cuddly is just a weird pink bear lady. Maybe with a smoking problem. Not very kid-friendly, come to think of it. This is a fun camp, and you're going to have fun with your friends until a bunch of better players show up and ruin it. The Battle Royale way. Nope, I'm right. Fuck this place. Tanner! About time you joined us. Cuddly even made you a plate. Guys, we need to go. Tanner, don't worry. I talked to Cuddly about what you told Anya and me. She totally understands. Yeah, that fairy tale is just to keep kids in bed. I've heard it myself. Don't worry about it. Can we have a team meeting? Guys, I'm sure I was overreacting earlier, but I swear while I was down by the shore, I saw Colonel Scream Leader in this very building. He was watching me menacingly. We need to leave. Tanner, I know you're scared, but we're having a blast. Maybe you can sleep off these nerves. We were all feeling a post-swim nap anyway. Yeah, trust me, you'll feel better after some shut-eye. A nap? That'll leave you completely defenseless. Would it make you feel better if you shared a room with me, Tanner? Roach, you're a self-proclaimed serial killer. I know we're friends, but that sounds insane. Figured I'd offer. Ready for your nap. Be you bet! I swear, if this is Tanner... Someone killed Caroline! Oh my gosh! It's Curdle. Where is Cuddly? She's absolutely in- <gasps> What happened? Oh gosh, your friend died. Another team must have infiltrated the camp. We are going to need to deal with them. Another team? I know this was Curdle, and somehow you. I'll stop. Good. All right, we should all split up. Just be sneaky. If we find the enemy team, send out a signal. What's the signal? You can't honestly be suggesting we split up. I was thinking of yelling, I found them, would be a good signal. But yes, we should split up. It's going to be the fastest way. We are completely unarmed. Yeah, I don't have much in way of weapons, but I do have these spike traps. If you get cornered, set one in front of you. Should buy you some time for us all to meet up. Didn't Caroline say those were vaulted? She's literally offering illegal murder spike traps. She's helping, Tanner. Is this gaslighting? Am I being gaslit? I don't know what is going on. There's no way I'm splitting up. Damn it. Other team, come out. You've killed our friend, and it is very annoying. Hmm, it feels like something's behind me. Maybe I'll catch them napping. In retrospect, all of us splitting up seems like a terrible idea. Uh, Cuddly, is that you? That is the scariest thing I have ever seen in my entire life. Ah! Roach! How would I let you talk me into this cataclysmically bad idea? No, not another one.
No thanks. Stay away! You wouldn't want to hurt yourselves! Sorry, Tanner. Looks like your summer break is over. Actually, I think this place is about to be under new management. What? <laughs> Damn, that was cool. Ow! 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 No! Ow! I just defeated my path! Ow! No! I'm the hero! Man, I swear, there's just no good loot in this game anymore. I can't find anything. Maybe that's because you always ping some random location in the middle of nowhere whenever we drop. Look, I'm just trying not to get knocked in the first 10 seconds of the game, all right? Sure, it's much better to wander around with no guns for 10 minutes than get knocked. Hey, maybe that crow flying up there had some weapons. That's probably the dumbest suggestion I've ever heard, Roach. A crow dropping loot? What, does it have a legendary SMG under those stupid bird wings or something? Hey, look! A legendary SMG! I stand corrected. I know where you can find the best loot on the island. Where the hell did you come from? I've got the perfect spot for all of the best loot you'd want. Whoa! A frozen collab? Finally! Hello, Miss Elsa! It's a pleasure to meet your acquaintance! Uh... Who is Elsa? Seriously, you look exactly like her. I honestly have no idea what you're talking about. My name is Torin. If you're not Elsa, then how do you explain that snowman next to you? Yeah, isn't that Olaf? Oh, no, that's just some creepy snowman who keeps stalking me. I'll never find love. Okay, Torin, Elsa, whoever you are, what were you saying about helping us find some good loot? Yeah, there's this awesome spot with all the best weapons. Follow me. Welcome to the sideways. What the hell is this thing? It looks like a giant pimple. Is Fortnite going through puberty? They grow up so fast. It's not a pimple. It's a zone with zombie hordes that drop all the best loot. Zombies, like real life flesh eating horror movie zombies. Oh, they're total pushovers, trust me. It's totally worth it for the loot. Wait a second, how do we know we can trust you? What do you mean, Tanner? We just randomly met this beautiful girl who popped out of nowhere, gave us some great advice, and asked for absolutely nothing in return. What's not the trust? Yeah, okay, I guess you're right. So we're gonna run into the pimple? Looks like it. I always wonder what was inside of a pimple. Okay, so where's all this loot Torin was talking about? Not sure, but I definitely see some zombies heading our way. You should probably get ready for a fight. Take that! And that! Hey, I can get used to this! Me too. Okay, here goes nothing. Hey guys, this place gives you super high jumping abilities too! Woohoo! That's what I'm talking about! This is just like Save the World, except they don't have to waste $40 on it. Oh no, I may have bitten off more than I can chew here. I hate zombies. I know, I'll just build myself a fort. Oh my god, it's not working. I'm a goner. Tanner, what the hell are you doing? I don't know, man. I froze up. You can't build in here. These guys are pushovers. Just shoot your weapons for crying out loud. Okay, okay. You can do this, Tanner. Here, use this minigun I found. Oh, now we're talking, baby. Here's a little annihilation for you little annihilation for you. Oh, and we can't forget the big fella. Whew. Well, that was fun. I think we did it. Yeah, I don't see any more zombies. Nice work, guys. We actually got some pretty good weapons, too. Looks like Elsa, uh, I mean, Torin, wasn't lying after all. Man, I'm completely beat. Gonna need to band the jump and drink some shield potions. Yeah, same here. Let's take a minute to rest. Not so fast. Now that you guys have gathered all the loot, we're gonna just take it all off your hands for you. I knew there was something fishy about this Disney princess wannabe. She literally just waited until we were low on health to ambush us. Great. Yep, and you fell right into my trap. <laughs> so you were really dating that snowman after all. I knew it. Shut up. But we're gonna, like, catch a movie at least, right? You promised me. Now, you stupid defaults. Hand over your weapons. I'd love to kill you myself. But now that you're all unarmed, I think I'll just wait for the next horde of zombies to roll through. See ya, losers. Well, I guess we're really screwed this time. I can't believe she couldn't even leave us with a pistol. That's it. I got it. Great thinking, Roach. We sure showed them not to mess with the squad. Zombies, snowmen, Disney princesses, we can take them all. You got that right. I guess you could say I literally melted them with my bullets. <laughs> <laughs> 
Why do we want to lose this time? Stick to the edge of the storm? Try to find the middle quickly and set up a base? Maybe we can just hot drop at the sideways and get annihilated by some teenager screaming their Sigma male. Wow, Anya, you're really bringing a lot of negative energy. We haven't gotten a win in ages. I'm feeling royally fatigued. Have we ever gotten a win? I think once. Time's up. Looks like we're starting at Steamy Stacks. Wow. This is creepier than I remember. Looks like we're the only ones here, guys. Let's tear this place apart. We should probably split off in groups of two. Or not. When was the last time we got a win? Well, maybe if you brought a better attitude, we'd get a win. Hey, who's there? Ah! Tanner! You find any good guns? Ah, well, don't worry about it. I've got an extra AR here. Let's meet up with Anya and Caroline. What the hell is that? Anya, I know you're annoyed, but you can't just start pretending you don't know Tanner. That's not Tanner. I don't know. It looks an awful lot like Tanner. Are you serious? That doesn't look anything like Tanner. They just have the same bad haircut and same bad clothes. I don't know. What you described is pretty much just 80% of Tanner. Look, you've gone and upset him. He doesn't even want to talk anymore. Yeah, Anya, give Tanner a break. You know what? Whatever. Dropping this far, if people are just going to camp the edge of the zone. Delicious, Anya! I love it! Great shooting, Tanner! Still not Tanner. I feel like you're shooting much better than usual. Caroline, there you are! I was worried you might have gone down. Oh, not you too! You can't also start giving Anya the silent treatment! It's not fair! <sighs> That's not Caroline. That's not Tanner. I don't know how this isn't super obvious to you, Roach. They are imposters. Anya, you're being so negative. We're doing great. Our win is on the horizon. All right, you three stand watch down here. I'm gonna go get a look from above, see if we can pick out any of these last squads. I know you two aren't Tanner and Caroline. What is your big plan? Just take each one of us out one by one? Roach is clearly too dumb to notice. What's your angle? Why not just f So it looks like there are a few teams left, but we should be able to third party the last two. Aw, you guys made up. That's great. I love it. Let's win this thing. Now's our chance. Don't give these scumbags any time to recover. We did it. Wait a minute, why haven't we gotten the Victory Royale screen yet? We're the only team left! Aw, oh, Well, we got second place? No! This, this is, is a quiet, quiet lunch! lunch. Seriously, I feel like nothing exciting has changed in a million years. Season four, more like season bore. Get it, because it's boring? I feel like it would have been a funnier joke if you said season Thor. You know, since literally everybody started out as Thor. That's we true, all so many Thors. Hey, wait a second. Something's different about that building. It just looks like it's falling apart. It's the ruins, the abandoned headquarters of the stupid henchmen who knock Tanner all the time. Hey, they knock all of us, not just me. Should we go inside? Well, I don't see why not. <gasps> what is it, Roach? Whoa, 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 witch! A witch? Maybe the ruins are haunted. I know just who to call. Uh, I don't know. We more specialize in ghosts, not so much witches. Oh god, there it is! Ghost! Um, I think that's a chair. Let's get out of here! Well, mystery solved. It wasn't a witch, it was a chair. No, I swear I saw a witch. Was she old? Uh-huh. Covered in warts? Yes. Mushrooms around her waist? Exactly! Okay, that checks out. <laughs> Roach! She turned him into a toy. Oh, it's actually kind of cute. Well, now what? We need to find something even scarier than a witch to go in there and defeat it. A real freak of nature. Oh, come on, guys. Am I that ugly? So ugly. So ugly and so brave. Now go kill that witch. Okay, I guess. Here goes nothing. Something tells me it's not the witch that died just now. <laughs>
it was worth a shot. So that witch just put a spell on Roach, turning him into a doll, and we're just gonna let her get away. Eh, I think I like this Roach better. I beckon upon thee, great spirits! Bring thine banana boy back from whence he came to exact thine unholy vengeance upon this realm and restore balance to what was and always shall be! Ah, yes! Rise, my child! It is time for you to enact the will of the spirits upon this battle royale! Against none shall this banana fall. He shall overcome not one, but all. Okay, if I did that right, you should be invincible. Yes, it worked! <laughs> okay, you can start killing things now. Look, I'm just a little pissed off they never gave us a gingerbread house. I mean, look at all the other skins that got their own POI. You can always make a gingerbread house and creative. What the hell? No! No! I know you're bluffing. That syrupy confidence doesn't fool me. Are you kidding me? Again? This is the last time I'm coming over here. All you do is take my money and get my cards all sticky. Tanner! Quick! You've got to do something! He's back! Lil' Whip, what is it? Who's back? It's... it's... Spit it out. I don't have all day, you know. It's Peely! He's back from the dead! It's time to put that banana down for good. Stop right there. What the hell? Okay, this is getting ridiculous. Ah. No chance I'm gonna be taken out by a frickin' zombie banana. Wow, Tanner, this banana bread is incredible! Seriously, I haven't had anything this good since chapter one. Come on, Tanner, tell us your secret! Well, an invincible zombie banana tried to murder me, so I lit him on fire, and he turned into a loaf of bread. Oh. Well, good work. To celebrate this Hallow's Eve, we have a group of friends oh so naive. Hence a gathering of celebration they must go. Though they'll regret the act of her so. <laughs> Excuse me. Wait, is that guy dressed as a Pikachu? Roach, what are you supposed to be? A midlife crisis? A midlife? No! Isn't it obvious? I'm John Wick! I even brought this little guy with me! Isn't he just the best? Oh my gosh! He's honestly the cutest thing! Ouch! Hey, what the hell, Don Cheadle? <laughs> Don't worry, he'll be back, the little rascal. You named your dog Don Cheadle? Yeah, Don Cheadle the floppy-eared beagle. Well guys, this place looks like we might have the time of our lives, or we might get possessed by demons. One way or another, here goes nothing. Hey, do you guys know? Did you know that every time somebody eats a hot dog, it takes 36 minutes off their, off their lives? <laughs> what kind of life is this? It's an avocado. Thanks. Uh, hi? Oh, uh, you know, that viral avocado video? When the kid gets one for Christmas? I have no clue what you're talking about. Are you Master Chief? Oh, no, I I'm actually Moisty <clears throat> Merman. Uh. Oh, gross. Uh, are you supposed to be like George Lopez? Dude, seriously? I'm John Wick! You just kind of look like a dude with a really tight suit on. I don't know. Aren't you a little old to be dressed as Pikachu? The average Pokemon fan is 26 years old, thank you very much. You know, the people around here are all just a bunch of dicks, aren't they? I was about to say the same thing! What the hell happened? The power went out. Quick, let's go raid the fridge! Okay, who did it? Don't look at me! 
I was halfway through making a ham sandwich. Well, it obviously wasn't me. I mean, come on, me, Anya, killing people? That weird moisty merman guy was giving you the creeps, but I didn't like kill him. Hello? No, I am not interested in refinancing my student loans. Well, squad, it looks like we have ourselves a classic conundrum here. Do you know what a conundrum means, Rose? It's clear that we all have been framed for murder here. So, in order to clear our names, we must solve this crime before we are all thrown into jail for the rest of our lives. Isn't that tampering with evidence? Will you let the man have his moment? We gotta spread out and uncover who or what is behind these heinous crimes. <laughs> Don Cheadle, you're back! Wow, this is totally like Scooby-Doo. We even have the dog now. Damn it, Don! Hey, Roach. It looks like Don Cheadle is onto something. Looks like there's something up with this panel on the wall. Well, Tanner, since you opened that up, I guess you have to go down first. What? Since when is that a rule? Ah! Is Tanner dead? No, I'm sure he's fine. Oh, look, a rope ladder. Sorry, Tanner. Tanner, you good, bro? Yeah, just give me a sec. There's no time for sex. We have a mystery to solve. Roach, you throw me down a laundry chute. Okay, fine. We can allow a few sex. Can we just stick to saying seconds? Ah! Well, according to this, it appears as if nobody is leaving here alive. Hmm. Ah! Hey, guys, check this out. Wow, that looks expensive. I'm gonna take a wild guess that this means something bad is about to happen. <laughs> okay, I'm really starting to get creeped out now. Hello there. Huh? It's a demon pumpkin. That's right. After years and years of people like you, carving faces into pumpkins. It's time us pumpkins carve faces into you. Wow, this just got really dark. Well, guys, if this is it, it's been a pleasure hanging out with you. All right, I'd say that pretty much gets the job done. What's going on? Yeah, that's the end. Show's over. You mean you're not gonna kill us? No, I was never gonna kill you. This banana just paid me to scare the crap out of you. I'd say I did a pretty good job, huh? Yeah, I guess your blonde friend pissed this guy off quite a bit. He really wanted to freak you out. But what about the dead party guests? Oh, they were in on it too. And here I thought we were actually invited to a party for once. I hate that fucking banana. That's weird. The invitation said there'd be a house here. Ew! Is it really written in blood? Blood is my favorite crayon, too! Uh, Roach, you didn't use your own blood, did you? What? You didn't think I'd actually do something that stupid, did you? Look! Someone built a haunted house! That was fast. Just like Roach's last solo game. <laughs> Who would build a haunted house just to host some dumb party? Hello? Anyone home? Some party. Can we please put our costumes on now? Ugh, I hate Halloween. I'm not putting on some dumb skin. And I'm Bat Roach. What? I didn't agree to this. And you promised we didn't have to wear costumes. Bat Roach only made one promise. Protect all innocent players on the server. Uh, well, until they drop. Then it's Roach in time. Protect, then kill. That's the Bat Roach code. This wall is hollow. Maybe there's something behind- Careful, Roach! You almost shot me! No need to thank me. All in a night's work, helpless civilian. A secret tunnel! Hey, do you think this totally safe and not an obvious death trap disguised as a party is at the end of this horrifying spider-infested hallway? Only one way to find out. Roach, there's a door right here. You didn't have to- Our last guests have arrived. Please, join the others. You're probably wondering why we're all here. Were you gonna finish that statement, or...? Hell if I know. I'm just reading the note on the back of my card. Now that everyone is here... It's time for the main course. Welcome to Battle Royale! What is going on? 
You think the darkness will protect you, scary murder guy? Ha! That roach is the night! Oh god! Everyone is dead! Who would do such a horrible thing? Well, looks like most of them were hit while you were shooting wildly into the darkness, so I think technically you killed him, pal. Fishstick was stabbed. Nobody move! That roach is scanning for evidence. Scanning. 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 Are you actually doing anything, or are you just saying scanning over and over again? Don't question my methods! Hey! That's the chef's knife! We should check the kitchen for clues! <gasps> he was a good boy. Didn't he hold us at gunpoint once? Did you see that? The killer is here! Run! He's got an infinity blade! Oh, you assume the killer is a he? Yeet! I knew you'd come back! Well, everyone, it's been an honor fighting at your sides. I'm sorry, everyone. You counted on Bat Roach, and I let you down. Wait, that's it. Roach, use your bat weapons. <laughs> you just got Bat Roached! The only thing left to do is to find out who was behind it all. <gasps> Peely? But why? Scanning. Wait, that's not Peely at all. It's another mask! Yeah, I don't think that was a mask. Well, congratulations. You've led us to a barren graveyard. And this skateboard. What the hell, dude? You don't even skate. Don't worry, Tomato Pal. I grew up in this neighborhood. We're gonna be fine. Hey! What up, my zombie? Hey, what's up, zombie? Hi, zombie. Oh, dude, not cool. Only we can say that word. Uh-oh, enemies outside. Don't worry, Tomato. With these new state-of-the-art battle tanks, we'll send them straight to their graves, which are conveniently located in this part of the map. What the? Where did you even get that? See you in hell, pals! Whoa, here's the house I grew up in. You grew up in an abandoned, haunted cathedral. <laughs> yes, silly. Doesn't it reflect in the dark shadows and the depths of my soul? What? Oh, man. This is the coffin of my great uncle McDouble. He was a political bodyguard to Mayor McCheese. Okay, now you're just speaking nonsense, as usual. No, I'm serious. He died in a drive through shooting. Don't you mean drive by? They never found out who did it. He had beef with a lot of people. Oh, God! What the hell are you doing? My uncle always had cool games on his phone. What? You're joking, right? Whoops. Pick up the pace, Tomato! I'm about to turn into a frozen beef patty! You're the one who led us to this snow-covered wasteland! Ugh, I'm so hungry! Ooh, mushrooms! Dude, are you really just eating random fungus off the ground? That could be poisonous. Whoa, I'm not feeling too good. I think I'm seeing things. Is that an arctic ice monster? Oh, yeah, wow, that, that is an arctic ice monster. <laughs> Oh my gosh, tomato! Look! Taco Guaco! A greasy taco fast food joint? No thanks, dude. Come on, pal! Taco time! Taco time! <sighs> what the? Where is everybody? Hmm, should I get the Guaco Taco or the Taco Guaco? Well, looks like we'll have to get the food ourselves. Hmm, maybe there's tacos in here. Huh, they've got to be here somewhere. Oh god! Oh my god! Okay, take a step back. Ah! I need an adult! Tomato, we got a GTFO, like RN. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, sure. Damn it, where are we gonna hide? Nope, I saw it first. I'm gonna poop in safety. Oh my god, tomato! That's it. I'm gonna face those undead, creepy versions of ourselves face to face. Hey, you freaks. Uh, wherever you are, I'm not afraid of you, so come on out and let's settle this. <gasps> oh no, this is it. Looks like I'm dead. For it is me, Guaco. Let there be peace. Wow, thank you.
Thank you, my cheesy chalupa savior! You're welcome, my stupid child.